this is this is the dirt. This is the earth, and this is a wood block um, that's constructed. There's the print that that comes off, and then I just attach it to the other side. So you have a left, and you have a right. Three, and then you just set that up. So uh, what the image side of this is, some things aren't real, and the engraved side is some things could be. It's a hard balance between how much you're going to affect what you see and how much you're just going to leave alone for what it is. This kind of a, a balance, this kind of equilibrium has always played a, a major role. The sense of order. I don't know. I don't know if it necessarily um, is an earth-based order or if it's um, an order of consciousness. And when the farmer comes through here to plow this in the spring, it'll go, it'll go underground. So that's basically how it's going to go. And the, and the concept of the bird, um, if you want to call it a concept, I don't know, it was, you know, things are relative to your experience, right? So I was out chopping wood one day, and I was, I was hurting, and uh, this little chickadee comes and sits in a bush close by. Right? And I think to myself, well, if, if, if uh, cutting this wood is difficult, it must be even more difficult to be a little bird in the middle of the winter time. So um, I uh, had a great deal of uh, empathy for this bird, you see, who was uh, all puffed up. You know, it's winter, it's cold, and it's winter time. So anyways, uh, the bird doesn't go away. You know, I'm chopping wood with a with an axe and a hammer. You know, making a lot, pretty piercing sound, but the bird doesn't go away, and the bird's only. 12 feet away from me or so. The bird goes to the little bird feeder, has some food, and comes back and starts singing. And the bird seems pretty content and pretty happy. Uh, so, in my uh, in my meditation on the situation, um, I come to uh, some kind of realization that uh, the bird is is pretty joyous and happy, uh, joyous and happy, and uh, content with fulfilling its purpose in life. Uh, and uh, and the songs that it's singing, I feel, are uh, praise to God. But I have to remember that these are going into a hole that's probably around 10 inches to 12 inches in diameter. So they have to be fairly straight, unfortunately. <laughs> kind of nodule breaking of space. There's a relationship of proportions happening here and in a rhythm of, of, of uh, some growth, you know? Well, um, what's, it, what's, what's interesting is that you have, you have this tree and then you cr start cropping the tree, right? Just like you start cropping little twigs and stuff. And you, and you start becoming, focusing in, narrowing in on a specific on a specific section of the tree, and and when you when you're looking at a tree that's 60 feet high, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of nuances and random growth movements of the tree, and as soon as, soon as you start to crop it down and crop it down and crop it down, you start removing reference points of of change and growth, and and, it is, and you start to stagnate your perspective down to linear.
where is a chickadee when you need one? Just like the tracings of the wood grain that we've done on the print. Cheers. 